Hello, and welcome to a Did You Know session by Blazemeter. Today we are going to talk about using Blazemeter for API testing. We can use Blazemeter to run a series of API calls and then verify that the application data is appropriately updated from those calls. Our application under test is a digital bank application with a robust API. For our test, we want to exercise the get checking, get savings, and transfer money APIs. We will also validate the money is, tra is properly transferred from one account to another. Our application has security and requires an authorization token to execute API calls. So the first call we make is an API call to get the authorization token. It's a post, and because we are passing private information, we use Blazemeter secrets to keep the username and password confidential. For this test, we are using a variable for hostname, which makes it easy to point to different environments to move through the API testing lifecycle. In this case, it's a local dev system on our internal network. We have configured a variable that parses the JSON body from the response for the auth token property and puts the value into the auth token variable for use in subsequent calls. In the next call, we're going to get the information for our checking account. We are still using the host variable and the auth token has been automatically added into our authorization header to make our get checking request. As part of our test, we have two assertions about the status code returning 200 and the response time being less than 500 milliseconds. We also have an assertion that the JSON body can't be empty. There are three variables that we're going to use to set the values that, we'll be, that we will be parsing out of the JSON body of the response. We're going to get the account number, the checking ID and the current balance. Next, we want to get the ID for our savings account. We will make a get call to find this information and again, we will use the authorization header with our auth token and then save the account information for the savings account. The next call is to transfer money using all of the information we have gotten from our previous calls. The transfer money API is a post with the, with the from account ID in the API request. In the body, we put the ID for the account where we are transferring the money to, which is the savings ID. The amount for transfer is $100. It's hard coded in, but we could also make a variable for the amount if we wanted to. The transfer to account call has all the parameters needed for the call and will also use the same assertions for status code and response time to validate the call. Lastly, there is a JavaScript script that will run after the completion of the transfer call. The script gets the variables for current balance, the updated balance, and asserts the updated balance is equal to the current balance minus the amount. We know the beginning balance of our checking account. We know that we moved $100 out of it, so we expect the new balance from our checking account to be $100 less. The script will run after our API call and will return a pass or fail on this particular assertion. Let's execute the test by clicking the Run button. The running test appears on the left-hand side. Clicking it shows the results of the test as they come in. The last response status returned 200. The first call passed. All of our assertions passed. We've gotten our current balance and our savings ID. The transfer has completed and the script verified that the correct amount of money was transferred. Our API test successfully authenticated, passed the authorization token, and used it to make calls to get checking and savings account info. Further, it transferred money from one account to another and validated that the correct amount was transferred. Blazemeter makes it easy to run and validate comprehensive API tests. Start testing today by going to Blazemeter and signing up for a free trial. We also have blogs, videos, and Blazemeter University to help you get started. Thank you.